Hi, my name is Nikolai Yusupov. I'm a paramedic in New York City. I'm a registered nurse and also a certified instructor coordinator. And the, what I'd like to talk to you about today is there's some new guidelines coming from uh, New York City Remac pertaining to push dose pressors. Specifically, uh, we're going to talk about epinephrine and how it relates to the push dose pressors. New York City uh, Remac has proposed new changes that are going to take effect. January 1st, 2019, and they entail uh, utility of push dose pressors for specific protocols such as 500A smoke inflation, 500B cyanide exposure, 504B cardiogenic shock, 510 allergic anaphylactic reaction, and 515B severe septic shock. And the, the new language that they added is essentially you're going to administer epinephrine, 10 micrograms IV bolus dosages and you're gonna repeat those 10 micrograms IV bolus dosages every five minutes, and you're gonna titrate to a systolic blood pressure of greater than 90 uh, millimeters of mercury. And this is how the protocol will essentially look. You notice the, the addition of the new presser, right? Epinephrine, and the dosage that we just talked about. Now, how are you gonna go about uh, putting it all together? So before we get into it, let's talk about what epinephrine is. So epinephrine, uh, the drug that you're going to employ has alpha, beta one, beta two properties. And essentially we're gonna use it as a vasopressor, right? Uh, so here, inotrope vasopressor, and together it's inopressor because of the both beta effects, right? Beta one effect in conjunction with alpha. The onset of the medication will be one minute and the duration of the drug will be five to 10 minutes. And per the REMAC protocol, the dose is 10 micrograms IV bolus, and you're gonna repeat that 10 micrograms IV bolus every five minutes. Thus you see that the onset is one minute and duration is five to 10. Thus if you need to repeat it, you will do so after every five minutes. And you're gonna titrate that based on the blood pressure, 90 millimeters of mercury. Now, some precautionary things I wanna talk about. There was an article published uh, that was called Safety Consideration and Guidelines Based Safe Use Recommendations for Bolus Dose Vasopressors in the ED. And what they uh, essentially found is the, uh, the problems or the safety measures that need to be uh, followed for safe administration of this drug. So just to repeat, right, the pharmacology of the medication is an inotrope and a vasopressor, has beta one, beta two, and alpha effects. Onset is one minute, duration is five to 10. The concentration that we're going to administer is 10 micrograms right, per ml, as you see here, and the doses you're going to adhere to the New York City remit protocols. And essentially, we're going to be giving it to those patients who have some sort of uh, shock. Essentially, uh, that protocol was cardiogenic shock, and this is associated right, with uh, low shock volumes, uh, hypotension, and the patient presentation will be uh, right, cool, pale, diaphoretic, and all the uh, signs and symptoms of shock. Now, what this uh, article recommends is that you need to be very cautious in how you mix it. And ideally what they recommend is they, they want you to employ a 10 ml syringe. They want you to drop nine ml of normal saline into the syringe. And they do not want you to use a 10 ml uh, flush. So when, I, when they say do not use 10 ml IV line flush syringes, they're talking about uh, these things here. The reason why is somebody can mistake this for a flush. Thus, if it's laying around, uh, Right on the ambulance, somebody may take this inadvertently and push the entire syringe, uh, as thinking that it's, this is a flush to flush the medication, and that's not what you want to do when you're employing a presser agent. All right into the syringe, only then you're going to draw up one ml of epinephrine. And notice that they use a cardiac uh, uh, syringe here. So cardiac epinephrine uh, usually comes in the box. It will look something like this, and you notice that the cardiac epi has a concentration of uh, one. 10,000, right, which is clearly labeled on the medication. And then you're gonna create a light bulb for your syringe. So you will essentially write epinephrine, uh, 10 micrograms per one ml, and that will be a label that you're going to then place on your syringe to make sure that nobody takes it inadvertently and mistakes it for, uh, for a flush, right? So just again, to repeat all this, and this is gonna be our label, right? Push those epinephrine, 10 micrograms per ml, and you're going to put this label on your uh, syringe. Now, a few things I want to talk about uh, when you see this label, right, you see epinephrine, one ten thousand, 
and it says here, right, one milligram here, 0 0.1 milligrams per ml. But what does one ten thousand mean? So I want to uh, come to the board and explain what this one ten thousand means. So when, when the epinephrine for this concentration says one ten thousand, when they meet this concentration, right, they took one gram of the drug and they placed it in ten thousand ml. Right through a conversion factor, we know that one gram is one thousand milligrams. So it's one thousand milligrams per ten thousand ml when they were doing this. So let's cross out the zeros. You have one, two, three zeros here. I'm gonna cross out one, two, three zeros here. Thus, we're left with one milligram in ten ml. Thus, if you look at your syringe that you carry. In your ambulance, you'll notice it says one milligram, 10 ml on it. And here, here we have it on the label, 10 ml, right? One milligram. This is essentially how they derive this concentration. Now, our just to go back here, right? Our concentration per remat was, you gotta put 10 micrograms, right? Per ml, as you know, it's 10 micrograms IV bolus, and it's gonna be per ml. So how are you going to do this? So you're gonna use your conversion factors to go forward. We know that right, one milligram is going to be one thousand micrograms. So you move the decimal point three places, right? So one thousand micrograms in ten ml. Right? Same way like we crossed out zero, so you're gonna cross out the zero here and here. So you have 100 micrograms in one ml. And this is a, essentially what you see on your label here. Right? So once we boil this down to one ml, we have one ml is 100 micrograms. Another way of saying this is 0.1 milligrams for one ml. This all entail same thing, it's just different units, right? So here you see 0 0.1 milligrams per ml. If you were to add three decimal places, one, two, three, this will be 100 micrograms per ml. However, we gotta dilute this concentration in order to make this uh, appropriate for the room of protocols. And what we're going to do is we're going to take one milligram of this drug, one milligram of this drug, right, uh, which is here, and we need to make the appropriate concentration. So I have, uh, you come up here so you can see how exactly we're going to do this, right? So just to go back to the concentrations here, right? So come up here. So for the safety measures, they said do not employ these syringes. So this will not be something that you're going to employ. The things you will need is you'll need epinephrine, one ten thousand. You will need your saline bag. You will need a 10 ml syringe, right? And you'll definitely need your uh, needles, right? I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and make my label, right? I'm going to write on it, epi, 10 micrograms, ml and this is going to be my label that i'm going to then go ahead and place on my syringe right so when you're going to do this you're going to wear your gloves right you're going to follow all your standard precaution techniques right. get my gloves and then i need some alcohol perhaps in order to cleanse the port, so when I was drawing it, there's no problem, all right? So what I'm going to do first is I'm gonna go open my solution that I'm gonna mix it, right? Here, I would like you guys to confirm uh, ice integrity, right? Clarity and expiration. So we're gonna say uh, 0718, right? It's here, I'm gonna say it's clear. I have the correct medication, the sodium chloride, 0.9%. So integrity, clarity, expiration. Same thing for this drug, epinephrine. It's a cardiac dose, one ten thousand. There is 10 mLs here and one milligram of the drug. From this 
uh, vial, we're only going to withdraw 1 ml. And by withdrawing 1 ml, we have 0 0.1 milligrams, or as you see on the board, 100 micrograms. So this is what we want to take out from this vial. From this vial, we're going to draw 1 ml, 100 micrograms, or same way of saying it, 1 ml, 0 0.1 milligrams. So let's get it going. I get my syringe. I'm going to utilize uh, 18 gauge needle. The reason why 18 gauge needle is a bigger gauge and will facilitate f faster acquisition of what I need to get, right? So connect it, take my alcohol. This is your port from which you're going to withdraw. So it comes your port, right? Hold on my pigtail. Right, lift it up. You need nine, right? So bring the plunger to the nine, right? So I have exactly nine ml of normal saline, right? Normal saline is here. Open my cardiac epi, cleanse my top, and I'm gonna connect my syringe, and I'm only gonna withdraw up until it says 10. All right, I got my 10, all right? All right, I'm gonna go ahead. This is gonna go in the sharps container. The reason why is that we don't need this anymore. All right, I post my label on this medication to know that it is what it is, right? It's epinephrine, 10 micrograms per ml. I mixed it, all right? And now I'm gonna go ahead and administer. I'm gonna administer one ml of this medication right through the patient to the patient and i'm going to monitor my effects i'm going to keep the syringe right handy if in case i need to follow up what you can do is from a saline you could take the, the stopper connected here so you keep your top port protected now if you notice between these two syringes one says epi right the other one is uh, flush so now it's less chance of somebody mistaking this for a uh, flush with the label present Right. And while this is on, just to show you uh, right, uh, the math, what we're going to do, right? So we put this, we put this in a 9 ml of normal saline. And once we place this in here, right, this is what we got. We got a total of 10 ml in the syringe. Right? Imagine this is the syringe. We are told. 10 ml, and in this 10 ml, we had 100 micrograms. So thus, you know that every ml of the drug that I'm going to give to the patient, if I had to give, I'm gonna give them 10 micrograms per ml, right? So again, 10. So every advancement of the plunger going up, it's gonna constitute one ml. And this is how you're gonna keep track of your medication, you're gonna follow up with your blood pressure acquisition. Whenever you're giving pressors, I suggest you do blood pressure every two minutes, right? Uh, and you know that once it is one minute, so if you do your blood pressure every two minutes, you know that your drug is already exerting its effects, all right? So this is your um, information for uh, push-dose pressors, thank you.